SpaceX continues to make history in the space world, breaking records after records. While they are working tirelessly towards the fourth Starship launch, they are also achieving significant milestones with their Falcon 9 rockets. Recently, they broke yet another record with this reliable workhorse. In this video, we will delve into this incredible achievement. But before we go any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on all things SpaceX. As of mid-May, SpaceX continues to make significant strides in the space exploration, achieving feats that highlight their leadership in rocket technology. SpaceX makes everything look easy, especially when it comes to landing a rocket booster. Before SpaceX revolutionized space travel, no other company had ever managed to land and reuse a rocket booster. This task is incredibly difficult because it involves precisely guiding a rocket back to Earth from the edge of space and landing it upright, often on a floating drone ship in the ocean. Even big players like NASA had not achieved this feat before SpaceX. Instead, they relied on expendable rockets that were used once and then discarded, either left to become space debris or burning up in the atmosphere. Today, even NASA relies on SpaceX for some of their missions. Many of NASA's rockets still follow the old method of single use, while SpaceX is breaking reusability records, further cementing their lead in the industry. On the evening of May 17th, SpaceX successfully launched a Falcon 9 rocket carrying 23 Starlink satellites into orbit. After a brief 8.5-minute flight, the first stage of the rocket landed safely on the drone ship. During the 8.5-minute flight, the rocket reached the edge of space, where temperatures during re-entry can exceed 2,000 degrees Celsius. This extreme heat is managed by the rocket's thermal protection systems, which include advanced heat-resistant materials. After reaching its orbital altitude, the first stage of the rocket began its controlled descent back to Earth. The booster is equipped with grid fins made from titanium, which are capable of withstanding the high temperatures and aerodynamic pressures during re-entry. These fins help to steer the booster back to its precise landing spot on the drone ship stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. This mission was particularly notable as it marked the 21st successful landing of Booster B-1062, setting a new record for rocket reusability. SpaceX engineers meticulously refurbished these boosters after each flight, inspecting structural components, engines. This milestone is part of SpaceX's ambitious goal of achieving 40 landings per booster. On April 12th, this same booster became the first to complete 20 launches. It's important to note that the cost of a Falcon 9 launch is approximately $62 million. However, this cost can be significantly reduced through the reuse of the first stage booster, which is a major component of the rocket. The first stage booster alone accounts for about 60 to 70 percent of the total launch cost. If the first stage accounts for roughly 70 percent of the $62 million launch cost, it means the booster alone costs about $43.4 million. By reusing the booster multiple times, such as the 21 times achieved with Booster B-1062, SpaceX avoids the need to build a new booster for each launch. For instance, if the booster can be reused 10 times, the effective cost of each launch is reduced by the cost of the booster divided by the number of uses. This could mean saving over $40 million per launch after accounting for refurbishment costs. Musk has previously mentioned that refurbishment costs are around $10 million, which still results in a net saving of approximately $30 million per launch. Musk ultimately plans for each Falcon 9 booster to be reused up to 40 times. And with the recent achievement of 21 successful reuses of Booster B-1062, SpaceX is already more than halfway towards this ambitious goal. Additionally, this flight marked the 309th successful landing of a Falcon 9 rocket and the 70th landing on a drone ship. SpaceX has been rapidly increasing its launch cadence over the past few years. In 2022, SpaceX completed 61 launches. The following year, in 2023, they surpassed this number with 96 launches. In 2024, SpaceX aims to nearly double the previous year's performance by reaching 148 launches. Ultimately, Musk plans for SpaceX to launch up to 1,000 rockets per year. 
Of course, achieving 1,000 launches per year is very difficult, but Musk is confident in reaching this goal. SpaceX operates multiple launch systems for their Falcon rockets, including two launch pads in Florida and one in California. This infrastructure allows them to conduct consecutive missions, sometimes just hours apart. Another reason for confidence in SpaceX's ability to meet its goals is their ability to ramp up launch rates towards the end of the year. In early 2023, SpaceX launched about six to seven missions per month, but by the end of the year, this number had increased to nine to 10 missions per month. This year, they have already launched between nine to 12 missions per month in the first four months. They are expected to further increase this rate to 13 to 15 missions per month in the latter half of the year, averaging about two launches every three days. In comparison, other rockets cannot rival Falcon 9's launch rate. ULA's Vulcan Centaur, for instance, has only completed one mission this year. Furthermore, ULA is facing significant financial struggles within the company, which has led them to explore potential sales. One potential buyer is Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin. Blue Origin, which supplies ULA with BE-4 engines for the Vulcan rocket, is looking to buy ULA to gain immediate access to its orbital launch capabilities and valuable government contracts. This move would help Blue Origin compete more effectively with SpaceX. Blue Origin has been struggling to catch up to SpaceX in the space race. SpaceX has set a high bar with its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, as well as its ambitious Starship program. In contrast, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, which was supposed to compete with SpaceX's Starship, is still not nearly ready to launch. New Glenn was initially scheduled for its maiden flight in 2020, but delays have pushed this date back repeatedly. The rocket is designed to be partially reusable, with a first stage that can land and be reused, similar to SpaceX's Falcon 9. However, while SpaceX has successfully launched and landed Falcon 9 boosters over 100 times, Blue Origin has yet to demonstrate this capability with New Glenn. The Starship program further widens the gap. Starship is designed to be fully reusable and capable of carrying a much larger payload compared to New Glenn. SpaceX has already conducted several test flights of Starship. In addition to their impressive launch capabilities, SpaceX is also driving the expansion of their Starlink satellite constellation. In mid-March, SpaceX launched their 6,000th satellite, and by the May 12th mission, they had reached 5,999 satellites in orbit. While this is only halfway to their ultimate goal, it is already sufficient for SpaceX to establish the world's premier internet system. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.